hi friends and welcome to my video today today it's gonna be a simple makeup tutorial i know i've only done like makeup and book recommendations but i'm also into makeup like that is a real passion of mine so just to help you guys with any ideas for the upcoming holidays if you so i just did this glam look right here if you're interested in this look then keep on watching thank you so much for watching like and subscribe and we'll get started on the video let's get started i'm gonna go in with my elf jelly pop primer um i love this so much it's a dupe to the milk hydro grip primer this is gonna help your makeup last all day that's why i absolutely love this primer so much uh, i did my eyebrows off camera because i'm still like messing around trying to find out a routine for my eyebrows i can never like stick to something now i am that girl that double prime so i'm gonna go in with my tarte timeless smoothing primer and i really like this for just my t-zone area because this really smooths out and fills in pores so it gives you a really smooth canvas and i will literally just place that a little bit right there in the t-zone area i've had this for like two years and i still have a tiny bit of product left so this does last a long time it is worth the price and I'm just working that in my T-zone. Okay, so now I'm going to prime my eyes with the P. Louise base. And I just have the color blank canvas. And now you don't need to use this specific base. You can just put on some concealer on your eyelids to get the same look. And I'm just going to scoot you in a little bit more while I work on my eyes. And let me know if you like this better when I'm working on my eyes. Because I can definitely make that happen. And I'm just placing this base all around my eyelid. Okay, so I just set that primer down with some powder, any loose powder I had laying around. And now I'm going to go in with my ColourPop Nude Mood Palette. And now this is a really affordable palette. I think it's like maybe $12. Um, ColourPop is a really affordable brand. And these colors are really beautiful. I like to wear a lot of neutrals for the holiday season just so I can wear like bolder lip colors. Yes. So the first color I'm going to use in my crease is the one right here. It's called All Natural. And I'm just going to, again, apply that into my crease. And I'm just going to do windshield wiper motions back and forth. And now, like, don't worry if you don't have this palette exactly. Any brown shade or even if you only have your bronzer and highlighter, you can always throw your bronzer in your crease. Makeup's like really versatile. You don't have to buy a lot of products. Now I'm going to go into the next darkest shade from All Natural. And that's a mugged off right here in this palette. And I'm going to focus that on the outer corner and in my crease. Just using circular motions and swiping back and forth. Don't worry if it's like you put down a lot at first. Because as long as you focus on blending it out, it will eventually get to where you want it. Especially like ColourPop shadows, they're so easy to use and blend out, like they're hardly ever patchy or will get stuck. So I'm just going to build that outer corner and crease and then I'm going to do the same to the other side. And now for this look, I'm kind of glad I did do my eyeshadow first because I do have quite a bit of fallout and I will clean all that up with either makeup wipe or some concealer before I apply my foundation. This is more of a glam look that I'm going for in this video, but if you want a really simple holiday makeup, literally let me know down below and I can do that for you. I'm just more of a glam makeup wearer myself as an everyday, like I'm pretty extra and I know that about myself. Okay, and the last and final color I'm gonna work into my outer corner is this one right here and I'm really gonna try to keep this on my outer third of my eye so i'm gonna try to keep it in this area and i'm just using this to darken up the outer edges not really trying to work it into the front and now again i'm just working that dark color on this side as well all right so with a flat brush i'm gonna go into this middle bronzy shade it's so metallic i absolutely love it it's so pretty and i'm just gonna put that on the center of my lid Alright, so right now I'm going to take some Marcella water and a cotton pad 
Um, I usually use these reusable ones off Amazon. And I'm just gonna wipe all this excess makeup off. And I would love to walk you guys through eyeliner, but that is just, you know, you could speak to any makeup artist. It's just a struggle and sometimes it comes out perfect and sometimes it doesn't. So I'm going to do that off camera, but I will come back when we need to put lashes on. Okay, this is as symmetrical as I'm going to get my liner. Um, for my liner, I use the Rare Beauty. I fill in my line with this because I feel like this is super matte and black. And then I do the outline of my line with the NYX Epic Ink Liner. I absolutely swear by this. This gives me the straightest lines ever. I usually have like three backups of that because I have not found a felt-tip pen that I can use. So I'm just going to go in with this Morphe Mascara. Make it big mascara. Um, I'm not a fan of this. This is really... Um, it's just a lot of product comes out on the wand. Like you see that? a lot of product comes out and I feel like it just gets everywhere so I'm just trying to use it up to not be wasteful I don't have like a holy grail mascara like I wish I did but I don't and I'm just going in with Maybelline lash sensation lash sensation I do really like this mascara this one I do like okay so the lashes I'm gonna go in with is a baddie B insta ho I absolutely love this style on my eyes so first I'm going to apply some dual lash glue onto the lash band. Just set them down for like 30 seconds so they can get a little tacky. And that is the trick with putting on false lashes is that you have to wait until the glue becomes a little bit translucent. Like you don't want to go in with a fresh applied glue. Which doesn't make sense because it's like, oh, why would you want dried out glue? But the tackier it is, the less likely it's going to slide around. Alright, and I'm going to just pop this one right down. And it's already started to get somewhat tacky, so it's... Oh my god, I literally thought I was recording that whole time. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what I got. Oh, if I did, I just applied my foundation with a Morphe a beauty sponge. I was literally speaking that whole time. Um, I just did patting motions all over my face. This isn't um, a long wearing foundation. It looks great for a short period of time. So if like you're going to work or something in the day and then you have the event at night, I would recommend a more long wearing foundation because that definitely isn't it. But it's a really good one if you just are getting ready right before an event. So next I'm going to go in with the Revolution Foundation Stick. I use this as my bronzer slash contour. And I really like using foundation sticks because they're just so much more creamier and easier to blend. And this is like fairly affordable so it doesn't break the bank. I'm just going to blend that right into my hairline. And I put this one a little bit higher than, like, a little bit on top of my cheekbone because right here is the bottom of my cheekbone and I applied it here just so it could give me, like, a more lifted face. And I'm going to work this double chin that I got during quarantine. And then I'm just going to blend out this nose contour. Okay, so I'm just gonna take that same sponge I had my fun that I use on my foundation and just blend this bronzer in just so that there's no harsh lines. Alright, so this product I swear by it's Milani's Supercharged Brightening Under Tint. I love this. It's in the color peach and I think it is so good. I always love like a color correcting under my eyes since I felt like they were a little dark. But this one's also hydrating, and like I said, I do have dry skin, so I literally can't do my concealer routine without this. This is game-changing. I have backups of this as well. Next, I'm going to go in with the Hourglass Vanishing Concealer. 
And I really like this concealer. I feel like the doe foot too much product comes out on it. I don't know if I just got like a slightly defective one. But other than that, I have no complaints of this concealer. I absolutely love it. I have to make sure I'm literally recording because I will literally be talking. Anyways, I literally need to check if I'm recording because I will literally sit here and talk to myself and not even realize it. And I'm just gonna blend out that concealer with my Morphe sponge. I'm literally sitting here like singing um, Last Christmas in my head because I absolutely love that song. I love that song ever since the movie came out. I forgot when. I don't know if it was last year or if it was two years ago. With, oh my god, what's her name? I love her. I'm gonna be so upset at myself if I don't remember her name. Amelia Clark. Yes, Amelia Clark. Oh my god, I love her so much. And if you haven't seen that movie, you have to. Like, it's Christmas time. It's such a cute rom com. So sad. It always makes me cry. I love her in those kinds of movies. Like, absolutely love her. I first watched her in You Before Me, and I absolutely loved her in that movie. She did that movie so much justice. Oh, because I read the book before watching the movie. And it was so good. Sorry, I totally did the side and did not tell you guys. Um, I'm using the MAC Patrick Star powder. Like, this is really old. I He probably came out with this, I don't know, maybe three to five years ago. And I'm just now getting around to using it. And I'm trying to use it all up. It is a good powder. It's not my favorite. My favorite one is from the Haley Beauties. It's their Refocus Power Powder. But I just finished that and I told myself like before I buy more powder, I'm going to go through my powder stash because I have a, quite a few. And now I'm going to go in with my Dior Backstage Face and Body. And I don't buy a lot of like face powders. It takes like raving reviews for me to trust in a face powder. Just because I have dry skin so like I don't really want to mess with too much powder. All right, so while I bake under my eyes, I'm gonna contour my face. I'm gonna use the Hula Caramel from Benefit. And I do like a warmer, and again, it's just my preference. I do like a warmer contour bronzing situation. So I will lean more warmer than cooler tones when applying my products. And I'm pretty proud of myself because this year, 2021, I haven't bought as much makeup products as I have in the past. Like, I'm trying to work through my stash, then just keep stocking up and buying all the new items. Before I bronze, I'm just going to clean up my contour real quick with the same Patrick Star powder. So I'm just going to go right under my contour and clean it up. Now I have a mini physician's formula with a little broken brush head that I use to contour my nose. Now I usually try to go for a straight nose contour but it's not easy for me. I don't know how like some people like do it like the tutorials look so good. I just literally go on the edges and whatever happens and whatever my nose looks like that day is what it's gonna look like. Next I'm going to use the Kosa's Golden Bronzer. I like this. I really thought I was gonna love it, but I just like it. Like, it's not wowing me. I don't even know if it shows up, honestly. Because I do like, like, a shimmery bronzer to get me that, give me that J-Lo glow. Like, I have a L'Oreal one, like, the really big one. I forgot. I think it's called, like, Sun Bronzer. It came out, like, I think it came out last year. I really like that one. I, I still gotta go through it because I haven't even hit pan on it. But I just wanted to give this Kosa's one a chance. I just love when like I'm almost done with the process. Because like I start to feel like a baddie. And I love that. Like I love that for me. Alright. So while I'm baking everything's looking good. I'm going to go in under my eyes with that mugged off color. And just apply that in my lower lash line. I hate like when I'm like doing my lower lashes or mascara, like we put that face like that. <laughs> I hate that so much. It's like, what is opening my mouth going to do for my eyes? I still can't stop myself from doing it. Alright, so now I'm just going to dust all this powder away. 
and just to help set all this powder head on my face, I'm going to spray myself with this Tarte Maracuja Mist. While I'm letting that mist settle, I'm going to go in with this Ofra Mini Rodeo Drive Highlighter. And it's just a really cute champagne gold highlight. I'm just going to put a little bit of this on my cheekbones. I like to put this on before my blush so that when I add my blush, it just like melts into each other. And then I'm just going to take a smaller brush and apply some on my nose and the bridge. All right, and I'm going to go in with this mini Fenty mascara on my lower lashes. And for finishing off my eyes, I'm going to go in with this top color Wink Wink. And I'm going to put that in my inner corner. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with the Melt Cosmetic Sandy Cheeks Cream Blush. And I absolutely love this blush. I have not been able to stop using it. It's just like the perfect color as a base for any blush I put on top and it works great on top of powders and I know like a lot of new blush formulas do work great on powder but it's hard for me to find them this just does it just works so seamlessly on top of powder and I don't want to do like all my creams and then put powder because like blush I like to leave for last I'm like really heavy handed with my blush I like a lot of it next I'm gonna go in oh my god I absolutely love this blush since she's released it Jacqueline Hill's Luminous Rouge like I have I bought all four colors and I'm so happy I got all four colors because this is like my dream blush like it is it is shimmery without being glittery so it's reflective and it's beautiful colors the only downfall I will say about this blush is the packaging. Like, I get it, it's a loose blush powder, but it's just not ideal. Like, it gets everywhere, and sometimes, like, I pick up way too much. But don't worry, there's more. Like, this is not enough blush for me, <laughs> which is crazy. I know, I'm a crazy Then, person. next, I'm going to go in with the Flower Beauty Flower Pots Powder Blush in Peach Prim Rose. And I always just put it over my nose because I like that little cartoony, sunburnt look. And I'm not 100% sure what lip color I want to do. I know I want to do like a nude. It's usually what I go for. This would look even great with a red lipstick. I just don't feel like doing red today. So I'm going to go in with the Huda Beauty Warm Brown Lip Contour. I'm going to try the Dose of Colors in the color Supernatural. Okay, so this is the finished holiday glam look. I know it's a crazy transformation. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This is a glam Christmas makeup look. Um, I am going to do a more easier, quicker, simpler one in the future, hopefully in the next coming weeks. So if you guys use any of these products that I recommend, please let me know down below or if you have better recommendations definitely let me know down below and until next time